In the middle of Barcelona's largest train station, a call for self-determination by Catalan activists. More than two years since Catalonia's attempt to secede, they are no closer to their goal, but they say they refuse to give up. This is a non-violent action, one of many more that are yet to come. This is to defeat the system, to change it and to become a new country. If the goal is a new nation, then the full force of the Spanish authorities is making sure it doesn't happen. The euphoria of the 2017 self-declared independence gave way to serious repercussions. As tensions between pro and anti-secessionists spilled onto the streets. It led to 12 Catalan politicians and civic leaders facing charges for their roles in an illegal referendum on the region's status. And the crisis has continued to divide Catalonia. If the Spanish government's hope that a ruling will bring an end to this turbulent episode in Catalonia, then the pro-independentists will likely prove that wrong. They promise to unleash a campaign of civil disobedience in the wake of any sentencing. Catalan separatists have always insisted they're a peaceful movement. But there have been concerns from the central government in Madrid that any jail sentences could ignite further turmoil in the region, especially among more radical groups. It's not uh, by putting people in jail or pushing them into exile that we will solve things. We will make it worse. The only way to solve this is to admit that there has to be a democratic outcome. The Spanish government has said it wants to restart talks to end the stalemate in Catalonia. Until now, some pro-secession leaders were unwilling to engage unless there was an amnesty for those facing charges. And with neither side giving way, no one is optimistic that there is a way out of this crisis anytime soon. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Barcelona.